why do you think we need to love each other and being kind to everyone? Being kind. So we need kind so everybody will make your will make your friend and show you something and loving each other is great for everyone. The heart will make glow. Okay. Thank you. The Philippines, a nation known for its vibrant culture, strong religious faith, and tight-knit families. But beneath the surface of this beautiful country lies a challenging reality faced by millions of women, single motherhood. In a country where Catholicism plays a central role in daily life, religious beliefs deeply influence women's reproductive choices. The strong stigma against contraception, rooted in religious teachings, leads to unintended pregnancies. Abortion is illegal under all circumstances, leaving many women with no choice but to carry unwanted pregnancies to term. This legal barrier creates significant health risks and emotional distress for women. Another significant factor is the abandonment by men. Many men evade responsibility, leaving women to manage parenting alone. This societal acceptance of such behavior makes single motherhood more common and more challenging. There are an estimated 15 million solo parents in the Philippines, and a staggering 14 million of them are women. These numbers highlight a significant social issue, one that reflects broader systemic problems in education, healthcare, and societal support. The high number of single mothers in the Philippines is not just a statistic. It represents real women facing real challenges, often with little support from society or the government. In the Philippines, a significant portion of the population lives below the poverty line. Single mothers, especially those with little education or work experience, often find it nearly impossible to support their families through conventional jobs. For many Filipina single mothers, the harsh reality is that raising children on a single income in a country with widespread poverty is incredibly challenging. With limited job opportunities and low wages, many women struggle to make ends meet. Many of these women have limited education, making it difficult to find stable employment. The lack of education and vocational training limits their opportunities, leaving them with few options to support their families. I used to get, uh, since I get pregnant at very young age, is um, people will degrade you or they call it underestimate here in the Philippines. Just because you get pregnant at very young age, they will say that you're less worth. I've heard a lot of negative comments about me starting uh, when the day I get pregnant. A lot of negative comments and um, one of those comments is they said I don't have a good life or uh, they said that um, I will I will never be as successful because I have a kid especially I don't have a um, partners and my, my, my kid doesn't have uh, yourself. Hello um, I'm Sheila Sheila Maitidizan and I'm a single mother and uh, I'm visiting here for my, I uh, know. For your, for what? You're visiting here for what? For finding a job. Mm. Where are you really from? I'm from Mindanao, oh, Sultan okay. Kudarat province. How long you've been here? I'm new here. I'm not totally, uh, I think I'm almost four days, four oh. to five. Oh, so who takes you here? My friend for working in that bar. Yeah, in the bar. And then... I work them, then I live for two days because I don't like them. Now I'm just going to be, uh, I feel I want to be uh, find a new job. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you don't like working in the bar? You said, uh, right? Yeah. In two days? So why you don't like there? You... Um, because of the... What's your experience in two days? Very hard experience, like of the wearing of the heels, very high, like the six inches heels, you know. Mm -hmm. This is very hard for us then. I don't know. I am um, totally now. I um, I want to try to be uh, working there, but 
With few opportunities available, many single mothers see the nightlife and adult entertainment industries as a last resort, a way to earn enough to provide for their children. The allure of quick money in KTV bars and the adult entertainment industry is strong. These jobs often offer significantly higher pay than other available work, allowing single mothers to earn enough to cover basic needs like food, shelter, and education for their children. For many, the choice isn't about desire, but necessity, a means to survive in a society that doesn't provide enough support for single parents. Working in these industries comes with a heavy cost, societal judgment, and stigma. Single mothers who work in KTV bars and adult entertainment are often looked down upon, facing criticism and ostracization from their communities. This stigma adds to the emotional burden these women carry, making their already difficult lives even harder. In many cases, single mothers turn to these industries because there is simply no other support available. Government assistance is often inadequate and social services are stretched thin, leaving many women to fend for themselves. This lack of support forces single mothers into difficult decisions, with few resources to help them escape the cycle of poverty. The impact of working in these industries extends beyond the mothers themselves. The long hours, late nights, and the nature of the work can take a toll on their families, especially their children. These women endure emotional and physical hardships to provide for their families, often at the expense of their own well-being. Despite the challenges, these women show incredible resilience. They work tirelessly, often in the shadows, to give their children a chance at a better life. They hope that one day, their sacrifices will lead to opportunities their children might otherwise never have. Their stories are not just tales of struggle. They are stories of strength, determination, and the unbreakable bond between a mother and her child. These women deserve our understanding, our support, and our respect. Thank you for watching. If you found this video insightful, please like, share, and subscribe for more content. You grow up without your real father, um, Christopher, but you know him, right? Yeah, I know. Um, you talk to him a few times. What do you feel? For. For, for, for your pa? You mean father. Mm. Ex-father. It's or... not ex-father. It's still your father. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like without him and mommy's not here, I feel like something's inside my head. Mm. I feel like sad or mad. 